In this video, I'll show you how to record a Prezi using Screencast-O-Matic so you can add audio narration to it and present like you would face-to-face. -face. So the first step is to navigate to the page where your Prezi is located, and then if you scroll down, the option to download it. And I recommend for you to download it because that gives you more functionality over choosing the size of the Prezi you'll record. This is also a nice option if you are going to be presenting somewhere you're not sure you'll have internet. So choose the first option and then click download. And then click the link. I'm using Google Chrome so you'll see the progress of the download in the corner here. When it's all green that means it's done. And this is downloading a zip file. So we will have to extract the files. So I will navigate to the Downloads folder, which is where that was saved. And then here it is. The beginning of it is the name that I chose for the Prezi. So that's how you can find it if you have a lot of things in your downloads. Then if you right click and choose Extract All, now it gives me the option to put it somewhere else, which I will do. And then click Extract. Okay, so here is the folder we just put in here, and the prezi.exe is the file we need. And it's going to show up in a fairly small window right now. So what we're going to do first is go back to Screencast-O-Matic, which is just screencast-o-matic.com, click Start Recording. And then my recommendation is to use one of the preset options here to choose your size. Especially if you're putting it on YouTube. YouTube would like a widescreen option. That's what fills up the whole area. So I'm going to choose medium HD here on this monitor. Depending on the monitor you're using, you might be able to choose a bigger option. So now we'll size our Prezi to fit our Screencast-O-Matic recording area. So you can just click on the corner and drag it over. Make sure you don't leave any of that edge in there. And it keeps this small until you click on it, and then it fills up the area. There we go. So ideally, I would like to not have these controls in the presentation area I'm recording, but that is not possible due to the image that we have right here. So that will just have to be part of it. When you're using Screencast-O-Matic, you want to make sure that you have the green lines moving to indicate that your audio is being picked up. And whenever you're ready, you can click the red dot to start recording. It will give you a countdown. Note that you have a 15 minute limit with Screencast-O-Matic. So go ahead and record your Prezi. Click through it and talk through it like you normally would if you were in a face-to-face -face situation. And then when you're done, you can click Done. And what you, what I recommend usually is to publish to YouTube. You can give it whatever title you would like. A description is required. And then what I normally do is leave the video private until it's in YouTube and then go in and change it to unlisted. I recommend checking the advanced options and unchecking show mouse cursor, clicks, and halo. Those can be very distracting in this type of presentation. I already have my YouTube account linked, but I will remove it and re-add it to show you how that works. So it'll open this page where you can grant access. And then I always click to remember. And then you click upload to YouTube. And then you can click on the link to verify everything went OK. And it does take a while for it to be processed. So while that's happening, you can go into Edit and change the privacy settings to Unlisted if you would like. That means only people with the link can view it. 
whereas private means you have to specifically invite people to view it. And then public, of course, is completely open. Under advanced setting, you have a few other options too. You can choose to not allow comments if you would like. Note that you have a 15 minute limit with Screencast-O-Matic. So go ahead and record your Prezi, click through it, and talk through it like you normally would if you were in a face-to-face -face situation. And then when you're done, you can click the... And that's what we recorded.